testing one, two, three. We in this thing. Uh, you're here with the Velvet Vibes podcast. Got the posse here. Your favorite podcast in the motherfucking world, but I can't tell you like Scorp. What kind of podcast is this? The man with the sandwich in his mouth? That ain't no sandwich. That's some food in his mouth. What kind but, of podcast? Um, you are tuning in to the number one motherfucking podcast of all motherfucking podcasts in the motherfucking world. Man. Like we always say, you better believe it. Like Boosie <laughs> said. <laughs> Indeed. And you know, we got, uh, as Scorpion spoke to you, you might see a strange photograph here uh, if you watch it on YouTube. Uh, if you're listening to audio, just either way, we let you know Lenopolis in the motherfucking house. Hey, y'all. Hey, there you go. How you doing, young lady? I'm all right. It's still hot in Texas. Oh, you know, uh, it's quite spicy out there. Out here, uh, y'all uh, that's not in Texas, y'all are blessed right now. I think it hit like 105 or some shit today. Am I correct? I think it's 100 all week. Shit, I got in the car today. And this probably not what the temperature was outside, but it said 107 in the car. So, you know, I put it on full blast AC. And then do nothing right. No, it, I had to sit there for 30 minutes and get my playlist together while the, while the wind started blowing correctly on me. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. But anyway, we in this thing. Quick shout out to uh, From the Bottom. Shout out to uh, B. Smitty and... Uh, the something for the people podcast i was on that podcast this week if you check out something for the people on youtube uh velvet vibes is making moves uh shout out to radioactive podcast uh also my guy Cito, my guy golden nuts flying jeff and my guy graham of course mama schman dan you know how we do it man whole posse trevor lou wed anybody else got some shout outs uh, first and foremost, like I always say, give a shout out to Black Home Business, 500 Vodka. You know, as always, the, num- the number one supporter, sponsor, I should say, the number one sponsor of Velvet Vibes Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to. You must have seen something on your screen. No. <laughs> shout out to the Valley Cookie Company, another Black Home Business. And you know what I'm saying? Shout out to. Amy, I see fussing in the background, you know. I hear some disturbance. All, yeah, shout out to all the disturbance <laughs> in the background, you know what I'm saying. That's why I see scraping the, the pan over the old garbage can. Oh, she's uh, scraping the, <laughs> sc- yeah. putting the food in the trash, right? <laughs> You're recording in the middle of the house? <laughs> you you set your mic over in the kitchen or something. No, I ain't in the kitchen. I can see from the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Shout out to all the listeners who out there, you know what I'm saying? Bearing with who, us. Who who've been supporting Velvet Vibes through through all the times, you know what I'm saying? We thank y'all. Support us, keep supporting us, keep barbecuing with us, don't be meal doing with us. Against Facts. us. I should put it like that. <laughs> uh Lenopoly, we got a feeling what kind of shout outs you got, but we always want to give you the opportunity. Who get a shout out from you? Uh, I just want to shout out all the people that are like having a hard time or having a bad day, bad week, bad month, bad whole 2020, hmm. you know, just hold on. Change is coming. I was hoping that's what you were going to say. You know, hopefully 2021 is better, but you know, either way, just make the most of it, you know, Facts. that's it. Facts. Well, shoot, let's go ahead and cook. We got some, uh, intriguing things that need to be discussed first off we just gonna start right off the top because this is a, a ongoing issue all this week uh, a, a, a gospel song came out this week called wap w-a-p and <laughs> gospel. yeah it's this gospel song that came out uh hosted by pastor Cardi b and evangelist meg the stallion and uh they decided to include in their sermon how moist their reproductive genitals are. Uh, as they were going over how moist uh, their reproductive genitals were, there's been a lot of men this week that said they're offended by hearing about moist reproductive genitals. We're just going to start right off with Lenopoly. 
because we need to hear from a woman's <laughs> point of view. <laughs> what do you think about these men that are offended about this? I mean, <laughs> it's no comment. Like, I really don't get it. I really feel like, man, if things don't change, like, we're changing roles, like, for real. Like, dudes are becoming female mentality, and us females are getting dude mentality. It's like, it's crazy. Like, a lot of y'all are wanting to get married. We don't want to get married. Like, a lot of y'all are like, oh, I'm looking for a relationship. And we're like, oh, I thought this was just So we're a piece of meat. just trying to get something real quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's how y'all treated us. And now y'all are like, oh, we're done with that. And we're like, no, we just got started. They're looking for an <laughs> entanglement. That's the word. <laughs> Look, entanglement. that entanglement kicked it off exactly what she talking about. It didn't made just the rebirth of it. Because you got to think they had the hot summer or what was it? The hot summer? Uh, hot girl summer. Hot girl summer. Yeah, and then after summer. that, next thing you know, we got this going on. And we couldn't even have that though. Just when you thought he wasn't in the building, he in the building. It's a wild child is with you guys. He came with a muscle shirt and all. Talk to him, my guy. Yeah. Yo. He flexing. He flexing on everybody tonight. Hey, I got the I got to see my chest right now going on. See my chest. Hey. Saying hey. see my chest one on one. Well, you came through with a Snapchat filter almost, didn't you, with that light? <laughs> you know how they be saying that light be hitting you right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But shoot. Glory, glory be to the one upstairs, you feel me? Man, you came in right on time, what we talking about, because we talking about, I, I'm, I'm glad you're here for this, uh, about these gentlemen that's upset about hearing about wet-ass pussy from uh, Cardi B and... Oh, uh, the song. I, yeah, that's know, right. Before we get into you, I need to know was Lenopoly done because she was just uh, finished uh, getting her sermon cranked up. Was you still going on this, Lenopoly? Oh, I was just saying we couldn't even have Hot Girl Summer. Like y'all came and took that. It became the what? Like it was like the city girls versus the city boys or something. Oh yeah. I don't know. I got all twisted around. Like it was <laughs> Megan and the, and it's just it was crazy. <laughs> it's like we can't even have anything without y'all. Look, jumping in. We trying to reclaim reclaim them crowns. You said y'all done took the crowns and the men have become bitches. <laughs> so we gotta fight back. No, uh Wild Child, have you been offended by seeing this video? Or do you get offended when you hear about wet ass pussy? Uh I'm definitely not offended. <laughs> um I am I'm for the WAP. <laughs> I'm pro WAP, you feel me? You wanna um, do the WAP with them? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to cross the T's and dot some eyes on some WAP. You know what I'm saying? All day, every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to paint the fence with the WAP. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to wax on, wax off with the WAP. You know? There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're a professional yeah. WAPer. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've been WAPing for a long time, haven't you? Um, Not for a long time, man. You know, there was a time Wild Child was married. So yeah. there was only one WAP that I was getting. You know. That's when it was a Whopper Junior. Now it's the Whopper Deluxe, man. Yeah, which is, uh, <laughs> let me get that same, you know what I want. Let me get the same Whopper cheese, you know what I'm saying, bacon, you know what I'm saying. Indeed. Talk yeah. to me. Scorp, how do you feel when you hear this song? Do you get offended? I only heard it once, you know. I same. recently, I just recently seen the video, and I was saying a lot of folks in the group, they were saying that they should have left um, Kata Jenner at the, at the end, at the end of the video. <laughs> you know, I see that. That was kind of funny to me. Then I seen another one where it, 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 Kanye West supposed to be Cardi. Oh, yeah. 50 Cent supposed to be. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was straight hilarious. The fuck? But, you know, I, me personally... I seen I seen um a lot of comments that um a lot of folks like Megan the Stallion bars better than they did Cardi bars. Well, I think that's a given at this point. Yeah, I, I kind of agree I'm with. I agree with that absolutely. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. You know, Cardi, she was kind of a little stiff in the video to me. You know, stiff on verses or stiff on twerking? <laughs> twerking. The whole thing. All the above. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I have to know. Uh, what, I what kind of cheeks is about? I thought I was watching Nicki Minaj trying to twerk a gear. Oh, yeah. She definitely is not skilled in that department. So. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta but, uh, say. I don't oh, know. Oh. Go for it. I don't know if y'all saw this meme going around, but um, well, I don't think it was me- a meme. Domino's had did an advertisement, and it was like, uh, "Do you like the taste of uh, WAP?" <laughs> and it was like wings and pizza. That's what it stood for. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you and the, you and the boat. I'm in because I seen that and I said for some reason. I got a feeling this ain't a meme this time. I really think this is for real. And if it is, this is fucking genius. I'm I'm with this. <laughs> they didn't put them on the pizza with the with the uh cover art and all this shit. But I gotta say, these men is disappointing out here. Uh I got a feeling uh you you know how how we give it up, we just gonna tell it like it is. I, I noticed that the gay men is more enjoying it more than the straight men. For the most part, I've seen a lot of people talking about, I'm offended. Uh, what are we teaching our children? First off, you better clo- close your kids' eyes. You better, I know they're going to see it somehow and they're going to hear it somehow, but you know, you ain't got to be the one providing them with it. But don't, you know, don't stop the twerking because twerking is helping the community, especially in 2020, because it's, what? you know, it, you know Wait, with everybody stuck at home. You said that. Yeah, everybody stuck at home. The only thing you can do is twerk. People probably actually you know, sharpening on their twerking skills because they got so much time on their hands. So the, everybody oh, out here, oh. left cheek, white cheek, you know what I'm saying? It's a left cheek, white cheek university. Is that what you're saying? It's like twerk karate. You know, everybody trying to get the black belt when it comes. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what you're saying. So we, everybody holding their own twerk classes in their own garage or whatnot. That's what they, need to, they need to come out with twerk karate. Like if it was, because it, come on, if Billy Blanks can come up with dance fighting, why women can't come up with twerk fighting? And I'm talking about with an actually fighting. It ain't to please you in no kind of way. Like you see it, you get confused. And next thing you know, a butt cheek hits you upside the head and you get sweeped up under your foot. You know, women might be this able is, to keep get me in a gear with this shit. Something wrong with you, first of all. We're just going to throw it out there. Something all the way wrong with you, okay? Uh, <laughs> second off, side note, uh, they also said WAP stands for worship and praise. Hello? Yeah. Hello, it's me. Hallelujah. I've actually been hearing this. They said this yeah. that that's not even a joke. They said that's what it been meaning. They said uh black churches been putting this on they uh on they you know on that paper when you go to church for the longest. Yeah, I ain't see this in my service, but I think it's on t shirts too. You know what I'm saying? Got that wop, you know what I'm saying? Wop in the name of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Nice. <laughs> so what are they gonna do now? They just don't throw the shirts away. <laughs> Nah, look, they, they just, I, don't, I think they should keep them. You know, they, they look, keep them leave it up to your interpretation. And you, if you interpret it wrong, they cast out that demon. The twerk demon come <laughs> right on out of you. <laughs> hey, I'll just tell everybody to go ahead and uh, keep that holy water near and handy. You know, then not only do you have this hand sanitizer, go and keep the holy water in the pocket. That's what <laughs> uh, on both sides. <laughs> well, check this right. out. This was just a quick question. Since everybody been offended by that, it just reminded me of... Uh, the shake weight because this is something we should have been offended of and i gotta know we were just gonna start with wild child because you you said you've been getting in shape and everything have you ever owned the shake weight if you remember Bro, this I, I don't i don't need a shake weight i got a penis <laughs> straight up so so what? straight up straight up <laughs> so are you saying that's what the shake weight is about technically <laughs> but just think of the shake weight right what is it? I about? think the shake weight was ideally made for women to strengthen their jacking their, off skills. Uh, what's the uh, the forearms to strengthen the forearms like Papa? So therefore, they could be, you know, what I'm saying they could be graduated into <laughs> professional jack offers, like you know, what I'm saying hand jobs. You get what I'm saying? Jack offers. Saying. <laughs> jack offers. <laughs> this is good. I'm Absolutely. done. I'm done. <laughs> Oh my, saying, goodness. oh my goodness so just think right what? oh and think of it like this think of a woman doing it right no homo real talk look at that look at that what they doing what they yeah doing? strengthening well you know what i'm about to unzip my mm-hmm. pants and that's it anyway see, see what i'm saying <laughs> so wait, i heard that woman, some of them wait a minute i heard some of them came with like lotion in it like you shake it so much that some lotion comes out and it's so you can lube your hands. It's so you lube your hands so you don't get like a callus on your hand. Lenopoly. It makes sense. It makes sense because when she's done with me, lotion come out, a.k.a. Hello? What, Hello? Kind, what kind of shake weight is well. this? <laughs> this is very alarming to say. You're saying it makes sense. 
Makes sense. A spade is a spade, ain't it? Yeah, Makes apparently. Sense, I don't. I don't think I need to speak on this. We know that I. I. I you know. I don't need that in my household. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have a question though. Go for it. Would y'all violent like you know how they have uh the apps that like Task Rabbit, where you go on there and you say, oh, I'll go and fix your your TV or I'll mount your TV or do certain mm-hmm. things around your house, right? Would like y'all put? Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Would you volunteer to be a shake weight? <laughs> As it's on the task rabbit site, that could be a job. Could it not depends be a job? You, Let's find out where your limits is. are. <laughs> depends on how cute she is. So and how much you pay me. So if a woman paid you to eat fruit in front of her in slow motion, would you do it? What? Just fruit? Yeah. You can't just touch her. She just wants you to eat fruit because that's what you get off to. Like you just put huh. your face in a fruit bowl, she's gonna give you a hundred dollars. And you gotta, you know, you gotta make love Wait, to the fruit bowl. What what kind of fruit though? Are kiwi, we talking about like oranges, kiwi, like, like pineapples. Grapes. Yeah, pineapples. If it's, a, if, it's, if it's a fruit I like, I'm about to I'm about to molest this fruit. Hello, you hear me? And now what if she say put your penis in a fruit bowl and swirl it in a circle? What you gonna do? Oh right. Is she is she doubling it? Yeah, she gonna get, no, she gonna get one fifty. We gonna just see. Can you do? No, nah, no, nah, I got you. Got to double that, bro. Penis is coming out. You got to double that. <laughs> so it's a whole nother honey. <laughs> Bare minimum, though. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, would you rather work eight hours to get a hundred dollars, or would you rather put your penis in the swirl it around the bowl for five minutes for a hundred dollars? I, I already know I do that because that ain't bad. Swirl exactly. it in a bowl for two hundred dollars. I know. Sure. And then I ask her to come. Hey, I'm gonna tell her to come <laughs> taste the fruit. It'd probably be like tropical fruit, like it's like a mixture. Come taste. It. Hello. <laughs> School trying to ignore us. Would you put your penis in the bowl? <laughs> Wait a minute. I feel like it depends on the money, right? Yeah, the the two hundred. You gonna swirl it in a bowl? Yes or no? Man, man, I'm gonna swirl it in a bowl. Yeah. Now I thought y'all were like. We had this conversation before about what a freak is and all this other stuff, like. Shouldn't this be normal relationship stuff? But you y'all gotta be paid to put a penis in a bowl. So we should already be putting our penis in a fruit bowl. Yeah, you should be like, oh, I'm down to do this for free. So hold on. Since we can't ask you the same question, is it even good? Is this a good thing? Because it sounds kind of weird. But <laughs> but is this something that a woman would want to see? <laughs> now, my, I'm hold on, hold on. I, we got to let Lenopoly let Lenopoly tell us. Is this what a woman want to see? No, go ahead, watch that. <laughs> so I got a question, Lenopoly. So, Uh-oh. would you put pieces of fruit, like strawberry pineapples, and dip it in your cootie cat? Uh oh. And then eat it for the for the two hundred. But that goes back to what I'm saying. This should be normal. Oh, this, so that's what you're saying. So this should be yeah. This normal. should be normal activity. That's. That's that's Tuesday to Thursday normal, huh? Yeah, that should be just okay. Yeah. I got you. I'm with you then. I'm so if you. it ain't real fruit, what if it's a fruit cocktail can? You gonna still do this? <laughs> like the whole can? Yeah. No. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, we gonna Come go. Up. We gonna can ask we this. move on? This no, is it's, insane. It's just one more question. For three hundred, you gotta pour pork and beans on your naked body. I'm done. Just pork. Just pork and beans. Come on, watch out. Next time. <laughs> Hold on. Thank <laughs> you. Go ahead. So wow. Wow, Trevor. See, he said he's gonna it. do it. You gonna put it on there? Bro, I can take a shower. Yes, I'm putting it on there. Give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my money, yo. <laughs> oh, what are my. you getting out of this? Can we move on? <laughs> he getting humor out of this. That's what I said. Next time. <laughs> man, you fell in the trap again, man. <laughs> Bro, you know I give no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no shits, boy. We we gonna yeah, get you know that you know he, he the set trap. the you know he set the traps up. He don't never answer his own question. No, I will put the pork beans on myself. <laughs> bro, he used blue magic, bro. He gonna do whatever, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They can go sign blue magic. He gonna do whatever, dog. Yeah, they... <laughs> See, now you done part painted me out to be a hair grease hoe. 
You are a hair grease hoe. What you mean? This is it. <laughs> then what Boy, they be put, doing? Look, you put yourself out there, man. You ain't made a song talking about blue magic. Come on, the, man. The, 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 you need a remix? The motherfucker, the motherfucker put one on his edges, and he used one for booty holes. You get what I'm saying? The nigga used hair grease. The nigga bought two things of hair grease. He probably used the green one for the booty hole and used the blue one for that scalp. You know what I'm saying? You so, know what I'm saying? This is what wild child. Like. Exactly. <laughs> wow, child. We need you on a remix of the Blue Magic song. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared now. But the only only, only thing about it, you got to actually do it to come on this song. Oh, nah. Well, then I ain't going to be on a remix. We need, uh, we need to have somebody that have, you know, have intercourse with you. We need them on the show. If, if you ain't shy, we're going to talk about that a different time. We need to ask them. You Both of y'all mm. sit y'all down about Blue Magic. But a little more serious. We didn't had enough about uh, what we do with our canned food and our fruit in our spare time. But I was sitting here wondering about this because this is, this is serious. It's been a lot of births going on, especially in COVID, which I've been finding alarming. I know it's been a lot of hula hooping going on. It probably was a lot of hula hooping going on before then, of course, but it's to be the case. But some people appearing with child still to this day. And I need to know this. From, from, on this as of this day, and we'll start with Scorp. What does it take for you to give somebody a baby? What, like, what is it? What does it take? What does she have? To, what is it this woman got to have for you to be like, that's it. I'm going to give you a baby. Oh, Your question deeper than you think. Yeah, I know. Because, you know, cause mo- and the reason I'm asking this, because motherfuckers just, you know, they just saying, man, the chief bed, you know, they just do it. Yeah. A motherfucker yeah. just saying, I just felt in the mood and I just did it. I would say, I'll go if you need me to. Hey, I'm going to have to thank on this. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. You hear me? Go for you it. Hear me? Look at you now. Look at you now. Uh, mm-hmm. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Jesus is going to have to come down and touch your boy and say, neighbor, go ahead and uh pull the seed in the girl. Uh, She she worked it. <laughs> she worked it. Know what it takes. Ain't no way. In the history of niggerdom, you hear me? <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> nah, but um, so like, that, that might like be the talk, valid answer. No, nah, but like real talk, like I, I'm at a point right now, like it, it's literally gonna take time and effort, history, chemistry, uh, and more than just, just oh you cool, you get what I'm saying? Hmm. Like I gotta get you to know that you're gonna be the the greatest mother of all time, like I'm going to be the greatest dad of all time in order for us to procreate, you get what I'm saying? So I can't just, I can't just be out here because you, you look like, you know what I'm saying? You got all the hips, dips and skips and whatever, you know what I'm saying? And you, you bottle shaped body like Mrs. Butterworth. I can't just put a baby in you because you may be dumb as a box of rocks and you may be out, you know, out and about and still not out here, not loving these hoes and we may break up and you may be the whole hoe out here, you know what I'm saying? I can't Indeed. do that. So, uh, with that being said, I can't, bro. I gotta, I gotta have me a, a decent, classy, significant, moral, and and God fearing woman in order to so us to at least procreate. And we gotta talk about that. We gotta get there. Oh yeah, you uh, you 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 bringing some gospel up, Scorp. What does it take for you to oh, go man. and put that seed in there? Um, basically, I mean, some similarities with white child just saying, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you know what I'm saying? We got to know each other, you know what I'm saying? Know your ins and outs for, you know what I'm saying? Like some years, probably. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to put an estimate on it, you know what I'm saying? It got to be more than one year, I can say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to have a lot of chemistry together, you know what I'm saying? Know each other flaws and stuff like that, you know. I see, smell. You, got, you gotta have, you know, see where your your short term and long term goals are and stuff like that, you know. D, I'm gonna say, uh, what it take for me? Nothing, cause I ain't doing it. It don't matter who you are. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, it don't, it don't matter who you are. What celebrity it could be? What? what how he rich lying. you? Fuck, he you a motherfucking he, lie? He Hell lying. no. Look, let me tell you, you ain't gonna see. Look, I'm I'm finna be 35. I only got one. Have I had some scares? Yeah. When you talk about me pumping gas, we not hit this. <laughs> yeah. You all the way, always on the center. 
Yeah. Sleep. Yeah, we never had this conversation, but as far as me like on purpose going in there and being like, you know yeah. what, I want a baby and just doing it, doing it, it ain't gonna happen. And I and the bad thing about it, I you know, nothing against the people that it is. It's just I've been scarred through relationships, child support situations. To me, even all the stuff y'all said, don't that don't mean nothing to me either because it's kind of like God fearing woman, woman, you know, she, you know, she mean good and you know, your hearts are together and your souls are as one. But it's kind of like if it all boiled down, you know, that what we thought, that what we all thought our souls was as one before. And, and, and that's what I'm and that's what I'm saying too. <laughs> all that stuff is like even just saying, hey, I'm gonna consider it. That don't yeah. mean it's gonna happen. Yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, all that stuff is a consideration. That's like, hey, if it does like if I happen to slip up and, and pull one of your numbers, you know what I'm saying? All right, you know what I'm saying, then <laughs> there may not be a reason to, you know, go through with alleged like, you know, abortion and shit like that. You, you gotta me? have a coat like Paddington Bear, and that's how we live. Yeah, man. Me, what does it take? If I do it and slip up, that means I got to be a man about that one and, and own up to my responsibilities because I know I it wasn't a bad woman I did it with, you know what I'm saying? And if she decide, because it really is actually her decision, if she decides to keep it, we ain't got, I ain't got no say so in that. So I got to step up just like she won't step up. That's a crazy thing, too. We ain't got no say so. Even though it's it, even <laughs> even though it's a that's a whole nother topic. But yeah, that's that's a interesting that is thing. a whole nother topic for real. Lenopoly, what does it take for you to say that's it? Put a child in me. Uh, probably uh, a good night of uh, a margarita from Taco Cabana, a master pea ramen noodle, and a little <laughs> <laughs> snack cake. Yo, I was trying to hold the lab in, yo. Wow. I couldn't. Like I really couldn't hold the laughing. I don't think, I don't think I, nobody can hold the laughing. The boy, let me tell you something. Look here. You see, Viv done disappeared. <laughs> boy, look. I think he probably went to go grab the ramen or something. Look at look. <laughs> <laughs> what that is? You got some pound cake. Oh, we got, we got some little snack got cakes. Got some, oh, he got snack <laughs> cakes. So we want to. That said, you ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. Look, you, oh. missing, you, missing, you missing some stuff, though, now. Hey, I got to get the margaritas. Hey, first things first, you already said you wasn't about that life. You got to lie hey, to a man. woman. Look, you got to go hey, in there, pull, pull out and say, you lie. You, look, you got to go uh -oh. in there. Listen, you go in there with the snack cake, your margarita, then you... Mm. Then you tell her somebody must have put a banana peel on the floor and slip out <laughs> right when you finish nut and say, shit, I done mess around and nut it on the floor. Then that hold on, is that rape? See, if now you, you see now you're gonna fuck yourself up. Now nah, I gotta know is but is that tell, rape? You telling your plan off so you, you don't need to be doing that now. Mm. Hold on. Oh look, I'm gonna yeah. beat that. Mm. I'm finna get that margarita. Uh -huh. Lenopoly. Wait. Is, that, is it rape? If you slide into the room and slip and fall into somebody? No. <laughs> look, okay, I should have asked the question better. If uh, okay, if if there's some agreement to the pussy and you okay. don't fall through to the agreement the woman only fucking you under this agreement like a woman say i fuck you if you get me pregnant just say because okay i, I this happened um, to, this happened to me before I, i've this actually had that before too actually okay we gonna get into you too this this woman told me she just want to have a kid and she said you know i don't want nothing with you she was gay she don't like dudes and i like that she said, oh, can, before, she, she said, can you give me the kid? You ain't got to pay for it. You ain't got to have no responsibility and all this stuff. I started to do it just for the sex part. And then I knew in my head I was just going to pull it out. But then I thought, since she already said, I do not want to fuck you. I'm just fucking you for this one reason. If I do not do what I was told to do as an agreement, can she go and say, well, shit, this rape now? Nah. Because we ain't want to do it no way. Yeah. For real? She can, but I'm, hey, I'm gonna need yeah. you to get that. I need you to get that agreement in writing, though. Signed, stamped, and, and dated. You feel me? I'm so glad I didn't way, do that. I thought about see? that. <laughs> yeah, because if you if you gonna get an agreement, and then it's a, a he say she say battle, you don't want that smoke. Because usually we always lose first things first. So <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> yeah. we always lose. Did you Straight do up, this though? No, no, no. I didn't do it. I this is I had considered this, and then when the day came, I just didn't. 
go over there or call or nothing. I just was like, I had a feeling the same thing we saying. I was like, I wonder can, I didn't notice for sure, but I just was like, I wonder can she holler rape? So I just didn't do it. And I just charged it to the game. Nah, I, oh, my, yeah. my situation was just a female was like, hey, like, give me your seed pretty much. <laughs> and and we good. Like, And it wasn't like we wasn't cool or nothing. It wasn't like no agreement. It was like, hey, uh, if I was to choose to have a baby, I would have it by you. I'm not getting no younger. So what's up? You yeah. Know? And I was like, and she was like, you ain't even got to be like in the in the picture if you don't want to. And I'm like, it's not the type of father I am. So X. Like it's that's not how that works for me on my side. But she's like, well, I think we have good kids, and you know, I want one that would kind of make life meaningful and blah blah blah. And there's no issues. You already know ain't no issues and all this good stuff. And I'm like, yeah, no, nah, that's that's not how that works for me. So I have to happily decline. No, I feel you. No, that make that makes sense, Scorp. What? How you gonna act in? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even no. asking him? What is going no, no, on? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. So, Lenopoli, if the man tell you that he have a limousine down in his pants, but he say the only reason he doing this is, you know, to have offspring by you, is you, when he say, I'm feeling some kind of way, I feel the magic, the volcano erupting, is you just going to jump up all of a sudden and take that rape charge from him? But y'all can't be raped. I thought y'all said this. No, we can be raped. I, oh, y'all can be raped? Look, now y'all can be raped. Look, see? We can be raped. We tired of being raped. It's the He Too movement going on. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't even be, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it anyway. I was just joking about the Marguerite and all that. Like, I'm not, I'm not bringing nobody else into this crazy world. And I'm not giving anybody a kid to have in this crazy world like Facts. so Facts. i'm not taking no parts i agree now that we didn't went to a dark place i need to ask because i asked y'all this last week i don't know if it changed anybody fucking with the no limit documentary now i, I mean you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm still gonna watch it <laughs> you ain't even touched it yet yeah i, I ain't touched it but i'll watch it because the simple fact that i I fool with like you know what I'm saying the no limit the the bastard P the the sip the soccer the mystical did you say Mia the bastard like, P <laughs> did you say the bastard P no I said master P. Oh, okay continue <laughs> no but uh no I, I fool with them like 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 that particular type of music like we know them as soldiers I thought I told you you know what I'm saying like. Yeah, like I, I fool with them too. So like, I, it wouldn't be something that I wouldn't have a problem watching. I'm not saying, am I just like it's on my top ten to watch? No, but if I'm just having a come across it, I'm like, you know what? I should watch that. I'm gonna watch it. It should. Well, watch. It's a five part documentary, right? I think so. I think I've uh, seen three. I seen three myself. I could be wrong. Hang on, I'm not gonna do no spoilers, but that man, he was on his shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Been on his shit. He didn't just not have yes. been on this shit. Yeah, I believe man, that. That's what I'm saying, shit. bro. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past nobody. Like, Man P is, is solidified. Like, <laughs> in my opinion, he's solidified. So, like, and like, I feel like he didn't probably like had no help. You know, what I'm saying like he just kind of figured it out, type vibe, and and became a success. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's like on one of those tips. So, that's something I'm definitely look forward to watching. Crazy thing, he had help. But he he moved a, a way I respect. He was just like, I'm gonna do this, whether y'all with me or if y'all not with me, I'm gonna still do it. So it was like, right. well, you know, not like kind of like Scorp said, not telling it, but he just kind of was like, basically, if you you know if you with me, cool. If you just fall off and you like you start feeling some kind of way, we just gonna still do the same shit. We keeping it moving. And I, 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 I respect that. Lenopoly, have you experienced this uh, documentary? Mm-hmm. It was good. That's all you got to tell us. <laughs> she must got a snack cake. <laughs> you sound kind of sexy. I'm you got that flirting. margarita back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pregame. It's the pregame right now, bro. It's, it's I'm feeling some kind right of way right about, about just you, just Lynette. Telling. She don't, she don't got her door dash margarita. <laughs> <laughs> right? Had them come through with her clutch. But... 
shit, the way I, the reason I was asking this, I, I was, uh, and we've all seen these memes before, but this, this uh, conversation is a little more relevant. I want to ask y'all if, and anybody who want to take it first can take it first. If you could have a, um, a mentor, would you be fucking with uh, Master P, Birdman, Jay-Z, Diddy, or Dame Dash? Jay-Z. That's the mentor you want? Yep. I'm going to go with Master P. Well, tell, tell us why you fucking with, with either one. Tell us why y'all fucking with who y'all fucking with. I mean, the, the man's a the man's a billionaire, damn near. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and why not Birdman? I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand who wouldn't want to take advice from a man that has pretty much made himself a billionaire. And that's without Beyonce's help and without everything that she's got going on. You get what I'm saying? Like, himself is damn near a billionaire as far as network. So uh, I don't see why this wouldn't be advice to, to 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 look into, you know what I'm saying? To to jot my notes down on like on how and what he I feel did. like Jay Z probably did some snake shit, man. Like I mean, like like can he tell you how to get there? Now you're not wrong about that because apparently, you know, it happened. I'm sure he could tell you, but it just he seemed like he he gonna probably tell me how to do other people in a snake manner. And can he seem like yeah he's kind yeah, he seemed like shit. You know, you got to do what you got to do to get what you got to get. You're going to get it, but you're going to lose a lot of friends on the way. And you might feel a little certain way about your character <laughs> if depending on certain things you're willing to do to certain people. Right. I mean, you know, some of that's he say, she say, but th- this that's is how, how I feel about him. I, I'm, a, I'm fucking with P as well. Scorp was making you, and, and it ain't because of the documentary. I would have already would have been fucking with P out of this list. But you know what? Dame Dash is a close second. I feel like Diddy probably did. Man, pick your one and stick to your one. Yeah. You trying to pick all of them. Like, Hold on. Yeah. I, I said he was close. We were out of the And then you're like, but Diddy, though, I think he may be like... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, but you look at that. Hold on. Wow. I wish I can drop a bomb right now. Hold on. I just heard something. <laughs> And somebody knocking at the door. It looked like it's DoorDash. They got the margaritas. <laughs> and they also got powdered donuts and blue magic. Okay. So. And I'm not at your house and I'm not coming to your house. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, we going to have a talk after this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Little Napoli. Who, 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 what mentor? <laughs> I'm tired of flirting with her. It ain't working. <laughs> Little Napoli, what mentor you need? Oh, I thought Scorp was going. I'll speak to us. Oh, man. I mean, with P, I think P, he wanted to, you know, like everybody, you know what I'm saying, get out the hood, of course, you know. And then he he had a, I'd say, by watching a little bit of the documentary, you know what I'm saying, he always had a dream, but he wanted to be big, you know. And on his own shit, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to have it people that that he was surrounded, you know what I'm saying, bring them up with him. Facts. You know Facts. what I'm saying? He didn't want to leave nobody behind. And me personally, I feel like I fall in that category as well, you know, especially with this podcast, you know what I'm saying? I always say that we we gonna we're gonna be big, you know what I'm saying? I want all of us as a team to join this, you know what I'm saying? There's nobody left behind or nothing like that. Facts. Come on, if he brought Silk to Shock and none rapping ass, you know, you know, he said, "Fuck it, you coming with me, man? Whether you whether you good or not, you still coming with me." Shit, if you, you mopping floors or what? I don't care what you doing. He made him a rapper. Hell, yeah, he said that he ain't wanted to be no rapper. He's like rap. <laughs> well, Anopoly, who you, who you fooling with? I'm gonna say Dame Dash because, like. Oh, now we see why she don't want me because I'm, I was sneaking off on her territory. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, um, to me, I just feel like you don't only really need so much money in life, you know? Facts. Like, you don't need to have, I mean, nothing against Jay-Z. Like, if you want a billion, do that. For me, I just need a couple million. 
you know, and I feel like even if you li- leave a million to your kids or whoever, they're able to flip that. Like if you're able to pass that knowledge on to them, they can flip right. it and still live good. And I just feel like Dame Dash, like even though Master P like was in control of his stuff, I feel like he made some sacrifices around somewhere, just like why he was on Love and Hip Hop. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't think he ever really wanted to be on there, but he was like, I'll make this sacrifice so I have to do what I have to do. And then it got yeah. out of hand and he just left. But I feel like Dame Dash was always like, I'm just doing whatever I want to do. Like, as soon as it gets, I'm compromising, I feel uncomfortable, I'm out. Like, that's it. That's so a I just, also, too, he still knows Kanye. So, then I can meet Kanye. <laughs> That's the shit I'm talking about. And vote him for prison. <laughs> and I, 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 just to piggyback off that, I mean, that's that's probably one another one of the reasons why I picked Jay Z is like is the simple fact that it's like a, um, he did make the millions on off of off of X Y Z and A B C and what he did. Not only his music, like he 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 piggybacked off of quite a few things. And uh, then he opened up like that sports agency, you know, that he was now he's doing sports and he's sponsoring sports um, athletes and things like that. Um, so, so Jay Z, um, he he picked a few avenues to to pick up and 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 get it going on. So I, I like that about him, and and that's what I like about myself. You know, what I'm saying I want more streams of income. I want more avenues of income. You know, what I'm saying to pick up in regards to. Who's doing what? If they doing it, hey, maybe I could do it. And not even maybe I could do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna get that avenue, and then we're gonna open up this avenue, and we're gonna open up that avenue. And I feel like that's what he did with the game. Hey, Amen. Not for the billions, but like, hey, because he said he did it. Hey, Amen. No, I feel you. I feel you. Now we gotta go down a different little lane. We got a little serious. We learned something about business and etc. Now. I want to, and this tends, this topic tends to come up. Uh, you can go ahead and smile when they advance. I say, watch out. Your favorite topic, intercourse. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and get yourself prepared. Grab you some blue magic. Uh, and this, this, this might be a little embarrassing, though. What sex act have you done too fast? <laughs> what? Yeah. What sex act have you done too fast? Like, you know. When you meet somebody and y'all have sex, you kind of, you kind of, normally it just be normal the first time. Sometimes you meet somebody and you say, fuck it, I'm going to eat the ass the first day. It's, it's some stuff that you may have done <laughs> so quick that you probably should have hold your horses. <laughs> what Wait have you done? Wait a minute. <laughs> and anybody can take the, mic, take the microphone. <laughs> I don't have no regrets on the choices I made. But what That's happened? a good answer. Good answer. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Yeah, I, I have no regrets in the choices I made in regards to my sexual activities. I knew what I was doing and I chose to do them and it happened. But you knew that today we just met or today's our first time. Mm-hmm. And you went and got that spoon and did what? Just... I didn't say I got a spoon, first of all. <laughs> I just said I had no regrets in the acts <laughs> that I'm taking when not taking them. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so I, 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 I think uh, Lenopoli uh, has the same answer. That's why she's uh, rushing me along. Lenopoli, what is your answer on this? <laughs> oh, see, that's what you get. You came to me second. And I was really trying to think of a good answer, but I'm going to just say what Wild Child said. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to come back to you. We're going to come back to you. <laughs> I've done what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think this is just an easy one for you. It should be an easy one for everybody because it's probably the same. Everybody went down on the first time instead of waiting, you know, two or three times. This what you know. Now I did not, even though I be eating a booty, I didn't just jump head first on the first time and did that. But I have ate somebody out on the first time where we missed around. And Scorpio, you done it too, I'm sure. No, no. You ain't never done no. it on the first time you <laughs> no, fuck around somebody? No, don't put me in that island. No, you on that island by yourself. And <laughs> you be wiping your lips the next morning. No, you on that island by yourself again. 
Have you ever got like a lie bump on your tongue the next day and you're like, man, what is I believe what Viva had plenty of time. <laughs> what if I just <laughs> she said the lie bump? Oh, she said the lie bump. Well, she he went. Probably, he, probably, he probably had a different bump on his tongue the next day. With a bum bump. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the bum bump. You know, bum bump. The what I get for hanging out behind the gas station, huh? <laughs> no, that is not what it happened. <laughs> wow, y'all, y'all listening? To this. <laughs> You're just a regular person, and I just did stuff too quick. So, oh, what you uh, did too fast? I believe my alter ego got me into some trouble. I think I think Scorp pulled out that that stripper pole too fast sometimes. Right, that's, that's, that's why I said my alter ego got me in trouble, and with my alter ego, I don't regret a motherfucking thing. Scorp pulled out that name. stripper that stripper pole. So I you think I think Jug them pulled out that blue magic too fast. You get what I'm saying? Like these. Things. No, you know what? I just not got welcomed into this the blue magic community. Nah, that's something I probably would have done. Well, you know what? I don't know if I would have done that because you know if you pull it out, it's you gotta explain what's going on. And stuff. <laughs> you can't just pull it out and wipe it on somebody. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to put that first front. I'm gonna need you to put their best foot forward, bro. Yeah, just you jump out with the best magic. foot forward because as soon as you pull it out, bro, they probably gonna be over and done with your ass. Yeah. So you need to put that out first. Real talk. So you saying out first, my G. I ain't giving people a chance. I'm waiting till we deep in, then pulling the heck grease out. <laughs> you stupid. You stupid as hell. Scott, what you done too quick, though? You, so you telling us you stripped too quick? No, I ain't say that. My <laughs> alter ego got me into trouble, man. I, I used to ride around with my um my hat with my alter ego name on it and stuff. And they were like, oh, so you're a stripper. I want to see this type of stuff. So, hey. What is your magic, alter ego? Magic Mike. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. He was like, oh, he in the car, right? Just like, I'm giving him riding this around, Riding so around with that truck. Cruising around, the... right? You know what I'm saying? He should hey, be showing your choice. You know what I'm riding, saying? Riding around with that thing in the dashboard. Right. The and advertising. The next, thing you know, next thing you know, Pony come on out of nowhere. Um, Everybody got to say bachelor, Pony. And then this nigga's, <laughs> this nigga's in the middle of the headlights in the middle of the street. <laughs> the whole show. You know what I'm saying? He just gave himself away, bro. I'm trying to tell you. This shit like I said, I don't agree nothing that I did. Stripper pole come out the air and whatnot. Okay. Like, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, how you put a stripper pole in concrete, my nigga? That's exactly what happened. Yeah, how it happened. Look, look, not play, before we move on, we just want to know if some more answers came to you. Oh no, I was too busy laughing. Oh my gosh. Well the, look, we're gonna take it out like this. I I've uh I saw this conversation on the internet and I thought I would bring it into y'all's presence. It may be a wait, is it a sex question? This is a sex question as well. But okay, because I got a question. Oh, go for it. Oh what? Yeah, take us there. We can get to mine in a minute. So I was on Instagram. And I know y'all know who Jess Hilarious is. Indeed. Oh, okay. So she posted some video saying about um, the next day, like after a hangover, like the sex after a hangover and stuff. And she was saying how gross it is. Like your breath is stinky. <laughs> and like, you know, like you probably use the restroom, all types of stuff. But I was thinking, I'm like, who does it? Like, have y'all done this? Like, because I've never done this. Have like we done you what? just wake up and you brush your teeth. Wait, have we done what? You have sex after a hangover? Oh, yeah. Oh. What? Hold on. You hey, see? hey. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> uh, special, special shout outs. It's my boy, birthday. Yo, happy Dark birthday. Uh, what's boy, up, Menace? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Look at him. Hey, what what up? Happy what birthday, up, man. Fella? Happy birthday, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Amen. Uh, yeah, but uh, back to the question though, uh, hung hungover and getting cakes, but like the look, next morning, like you went look, to sleep, you already threw up all that stuff. You're disgusting. Yeah. You know what? And you, you just throw up sauce on your You've been shirt. dancing all night the night before, and then you wake up and get right right to it. That would happen I'm, on most nights. I'm ready to get to it because I wasn't able to perform the night before, and I can't be the motherfucker to be like, you know what? It's a rematch. Drunk. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't. I didn't get to do what I sought out to do. So that means the next morning I gotta wake up and show up and show out. 
Like, I got to. But another reason, too, is because just how you said show up and show out, a lot of times, especially if you elsewhere, if you ain't at your house, you what you been and did it last night, y'all fall asleep. You wake up, you know you finna leave, so you just want to leave on a good note. So before you leave, you do it one more time. Yeah, you nasty, stinking. Y'all try to turn y'all head to the side, you know, while you and, do and that's it. When, <laughs> and that's when, uh, that's when uh, Scorp stripper pole come out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You gonna have to do this live in the Facebook group. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. On that talent show. <laughs> I'm not participating in that. I'm gonna be a judge. Score. No. Did like, you get do him this? some five hundred? He'd be all right. Get him some yeah. five hundred. He'd be all right. Shit, a change, right? Absolutely. Do you participate in Hangover Loving? Score. Uh, I already have. On Man, y'all nasty. <laughs> y'all nasty. I'm gonna tell you, y'all nasty. What and the thing is, I wonder. Uh, See, all you gotta every, do, all you gotta do is every, just, all you got, my bad for cutting you off. All you gotta do is just hit it from the back if you don't want to smell the breath. Common <laughs> sense. <laughs> or, or the reverse cowgirl. Hey. You ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know what, Lenopoly didn't just. But you've been dancing and sweating and stinking all night. Like, she, you've been dancing. And most girls be stinking when you pick them up at the club. Like, you meet them. <laughs> And, you know, you go outside in the parking lot. You see that little <laughs> sweat part under their armpit. You smell them already. <laughs> and then you still go to the house and do it. And you hand them that, pers- you know, antiperspirant gel or whatever and let them take care of themselves. Or hopefully uh, they do that anyway. Nah, but if they don't, them. you know. No, nah, you tell them to go in there and take a whole bath. <laughs> hey, oh, goddamn bird bath. A bird bath, goddamn it. <laughs> Better just, you know what I'm saying? Better get the, the feet wet, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get the wings wet real quick. Gotta get a goddamn bird bath real quick. Check this out. What's the nasty, like, nastiest stuff? Not, like, freaky, but the nastiest stuff, like, it was not sanitary, like, six. Like me, I done done it, like, right after the gym before. Like, me and a person went to the gym, and then we came back, and we both was stinking, and we just went straight at it. And now I'm like, that probably was gross. <laughs> <laughs> and I did smell a few smells in the air. It's like, wow, child, you looking like you done some unsanitary I'm thinking, things. Hold on, dog. Let me. Did you watch some Doritos life. off the bed and just lay on? You felt the chips on your booty while you were doing it. <laughs> that sounds like some shit you would do, bro. Cut it out. No, everybody done that. You barely get the crumbs off. I seen this in a group. It'd be some crumbs on the bed. You just lay there. It'd be over yours oh, yeah, and chips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just be going for it. Yeah. See. We all got a, a time when we probably didn't do the most sanitary thing because you just wanted to do and it. And then you know while you're doing it, you just eat the snack that's on the bed. That's there. Oh, the oh, you, know, man. That you know how, man, like, man. when, cause, like, when we're out, when you're right on top, our hands slide the pillow. And so then sometimes it's like a Cheeto under there. And then we so just you, eat it. So you eat the you Cheeto. Just eat it. No, you on that island by yourself? Yeah, she on the island by herself. <laughs> Look. Look, Y'all don't be living. That's the problem. Y'all don't be living. She done bent over and got nah, a flaming hot. You about to die in a little bit. Is that what you about to do? <laughs> that uh, crusty, dusty ass Cheeto. That's what you about to do. Right? She done found a, a molded flaming hot Cheeto on. <laughs> Boy, you probably have the most ultimate bowel movements for 72 hours. That's what, yeah. you about to, that's what you're doing right now. Look, that's ADHD. It's like, oh, yeah, this is a spot. Mm, a Cheeto. <laughs> for one Cheeto. <laughs> one Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> for one Cheeto, you about to shit forever. You hear me? Score, what did you do that was unsanitary? Oh, I don't know. Um, after the club, went straight to the house and just started getting it in. It's fresh and stinking, nice and sweet. Uh, hey, I, we were hey you done it beside the dumpster? No, I ain't done doing that. Oh. oh, yeah, I did that. Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that ain't big. <laughs> I, uh, uh, doing doing a party uh, was in mid cakes while everybody was out there, like like kind of slid in, slid into yeah. some stuff. Look like we was dancing, but yet she was she was really grinding on the actual tools on a piece of choice. You know what I'm saying? It was a different dance. Yeah, it was. What? It was yeah yeah. It kind of happened. She she just you know that point was painted to the side type thing and. Put your government I name out there. I had to, I had to, I had to loop swoop and pull it out the zipper. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, you want, you want. This uh, your yeah. famous, this your famous line. You want doing the seventeen split with? 
<laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but, she, but she couldn't do all that because we was at the party. Like, it was an actual, like, house party. Like, I was yeah. hosting. Well, we was hosting. Me and my people, uh, we was hosting. So, I couldn't. You can just, take like, the ST off of it and just say you was hoeing. This is why nobody like you. First of all, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> go ahead and say that. This is why nobody like you. Second off, no, that's not what it was. I was hosting. Okay, you know the ST gonna stay. And, yeah, yes, it's gonna stay in my in my story, absolutely. <laughs> and so, you know, what I'm saying she she felt like she wanted to cross some T's and dot some I's, and I was there for the John Hancock. You know what I'm saying? Man, so, y'all gonna learn cool. one day. One day. What are we gonna learn? How did how did you take it out? Was it right through your zipper? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn, boy, you crazy now. See, y'all trying to be like some like Mary. Everybody, Shit. what is that movie called? Yeah, uh, there's something. Everybody about Mary. loves. Yeah, you gonna be something like that? <laughs> Hell and, no. And matter of fact, no, I take that back because I think it was a. Uh, it was. I'll be putting y'all dick through y'all scared zippers. Nah, it was it was skins to get <laughs> in, and I was wearing balling shorts because I usually wore balling shorts through the party. Yeah. Cuz it was my it was our it was our house party so I was wearing balling shorts so I just kind of Do you do it through like, draws? Do y'all I don't like that either. Like you know when them draws is, with the opening cuz it must be tough, cutting you. That's exactly what happened. I take but my you know, shit off. Got that, they got that peephole. They got that peephole joint, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But sometimes that peephole be slicing your shit up. Look, that's another that's, that's another thing I'll be doing too. That's another thing I'll be doing. Well, you it can be the it. first time I'm getting naked. I ain't from on no shy that, shit. You got you got like bear trap boxes, nigga. What is you wearing, my nigga? Man, them <laughs> them, them razor blade drawers, man. That's why I don't wear that no more. I just wear them, you know, what they call them, boxer briefs. Them <laughs> ones with them the open. Bear trap joints, though. Man, <laughs> what? <laughs> this thing like a mouse trap. Get another drink on you. What is you wearing, dog? <laughs> I don't <laughs> know what you wearing, dog. That, that you shit wearing bite, man. I don't like you it. Some, you wearing some wood? That nigga got piranha drawers. But why you wearing piranha <laughs> with boxes, though? Why you wearing piranha boxes, though? What's wrong with you? Look, it'd be a lot of friction going on, man. It must be it, it just be getting a little spicy down there. But, but look, I have to ask y'all this before we have the building. It might be an easy answer, but I don't know because you know you might be ready to have Bible class and instead of do this. You in a relationship, and I say relationship, it's a wild child, because it might change your answer. You in a relationship, you and your girl going on a vacation. Uh let's say you're going to Jamaica. You get there. You get to your hotel. Uh, on the hotel, there's a note that says, uh, be quiet upon entry of porn is being filmed in here. Are you and your girlfriend going to open the door? And now this could cause a problem in your relationship. I know you want to open the door, but I got to see how you're going to approach this. Would you just going to open the door? <laughs> you're going to say, you know. <laughs> I mean, if it's my shorty, I'm, I'm going to at least ask her, hey, what Can you want to do? Now I'm asking what you want to do. So in fact, because I I know I'm not gonna give no fucks. I'm, yeah. I'm just if it's my room, I'm ready to kick motherfuckers out. First things first. Yeah. Or second, second after that, if I ain't kicking people out and shorty and my shorty down with it, we gonna be like, hey, are we kicking them out or are we joining? Big one. Now, if they're gonna upload this on onto your favorite websites, are you still gonna participate? Or are you just gonna stand it on the side? I'm gonna, need to, I'm gonna need to sign some documentation that let me know that every time they load this up on a website, that I'm gonna have to get this money. <laughs> because you ain't gonna load this website up and not me and not have me and my shorty get no monies. We gotta get some monies off of this. I look if I'm participating and I'm I'm being filmed and you making one million views and you making one point one million, you know what I'm saying? I need some of them broads. Yeah. <laughs> Run that. I mean, we're going to skip Lenopoly and make sure she got time to let, let it soak in because we want to get to her last. He's going to stay with that. Oh, he's going to stay We're going to let it soak in for a second. Uh, Scorp, you know what? I'm going to go. And then I'm going to give it to Scorp. Yes, I'm going to open the door. I don't think we're going to have no conversation because this is vacation. So even if it's something that we may not typically do, we are on vacation. I think we're going to look at each other like this, you know, eyes booked. Yeah, you have and we grab the knob, and we're going to just walk on up in there. But the only thing, now, do I mind being uploaded on a website? No. I don't care who's going to see it, family members or what. I'm going to just tell them don't look at it, but I'm going to still do it. And I might promote it. <laughs> I ain't going to just have it secretly on there. I might tell people it's on there. Hey, and if you got to show up, you better show up and show out. God damn it, you better do it. 
Now, look, yeah, if you let them down, your family member's going to find you're going to be the laughing stock at the family reunion. That's what I'm saying. You got to show up. <laughs> got to show the fuck up. You know, them porn people, they be saying, uh, I didn't, I didn't see in these documentaries when they say they be renting these hotels out and paying all the money, getting a camera crew. Then a man can't get his thing up. Then they just have to Ooh. catch an L. Like, don't know movie get shot. They just leave for the day. I got call. a random, I got a random thought. I got to get it out here right now. Go for it. Before Scorp answer. Don't y'all too Velvet, forget. Velvet Vibe Podcast presents. We rent an Airbnb out. Airbnb out and we we run a porn show, bro. Like we do a porno. What's up? <laughs> what? What's up, dog? What's you know up, what? Dog? Actually, I know I know some people in the business. So I'm gonna get with you after this episode, but I do know some people go. that do porn. There we go. We're gonna <laughs> so get an fun. Airbnb and just shoot one one good show, bro. And you got the film and editing now probably already, bro. We can do this. Yeah. He he you can you gonna be on it. You you are you gonna try to be on it or you just wanna be hosting, as you say. I'm, I might I might take the ST out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Scorp, oh is you gonna gosh. open the door with your girl? <laughs> you, it is, is it gonna be a conversation, or are you just gonna open it? Uh, uh-uh, ain't no conversation. Cause if she down with watching stuff like that too, or anything, like look, we gonna open this door. You wanna participate? <laughs> Only thing I'm gonna ask is you wanna participate. No. Hey, what if she not down, but you down? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. What if you go in there and you jump right in and she just standing on the side with her hand on her hip? Like, well, I'll just be here till you finish. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to say, are you going to barbecue or are you going to meal do? <laughs> I'm here to get this money. What about you? <laughs> Lenapoli, what are you going to do? I can't even be mad at that. <laughs> Lenapoli, what you going to do? Uh, I don't know. What you sound mean like you game, don't know? It sounds like a game show. Are you going to open door number one? What you mean you don't know? <laughs> I mean, can you just participate without it being uploaded? got to be uploaded. You got to be I mean, uploaded. If, if it's a porn and they filming, this, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uploaded somewhere. <laughs> are you going to speak with management of the hotel and say, you, I got the wrong room? <laughs> or you can, or you can, or you can just tell them to blur your face at you know, once. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh lord, okay, okay. That's, that's a different genre of porn, but anyway. <laughs> so about this Airbnb and yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Yeah, we're gonna speak okay. off the set on it, but uh, I think uh, it, those that are sitting home listening, you may know that this this pod, I almost call it a porn cast. This podcast is going down an interesting it's road. About, it's about to turn into one. To a porn cast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that might be a dope name. We we Don't y'all try to steal. We'll talk about this later. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're we going to we gonna have to have a, we're going to have to have one of those episodes and then yeah. turn it back to the podcast. I feel yeah, that. There's some spies out there. But anyway, as we always say, uh, we covered the shout outs in the beginning and we do want to say happy birthday birthday once again to Dr. Sean Calvin, the menace, the New York menace, the man. Super salute. Hope you enjoying. Pull up. Make me proud. I know you're there with S.A. Wild Child in the flesh, so I already know y'all pulling up. Uh, Talk about that. double cups. Double cups. <laughs> exactly. But um, do anybody got anything else before I get ready to depart? Oh, man. I want to do You just brought this to my attention. Go shout, for out to, shout out to Aldo. Wanna bees out there who trying to be like the Bill Vibe podcast. You know what I'm saying? We see y'all on social media. You know what I'm saying? Try to be like the Bill Vibe podcast. Don't try to be out like this. You know what I'm saying? The disc record is coming soon. You can't you can't do that. <laughs> like I said in the beginning, we are the number one motherfucking podcast of all motherfucking podcasts and every motherfucking thing we do in the motherfucking world. We can take this to hell in a cell if we have to. <laughs> uh, pay-per-view style. Anopoly, do you got anything for us before we depart? Nope. Shit. Well, like we always wait, say. Wait, oh, I do. Hold go on. for it. Go for it. Everybody just say positive. We said a lot of jokes here, but, you know, take it to, not to heart. Just take it lightly. Do what you do. Have a good time. And blase blah, blah. Indeed. Y'all better take take heed to what she just said. We definitely need it in 2020. All I want to see, smell, and be in the presence of is positivity. Uh, smile, but don't let the world see is what I normally say. But shoot, in, in this case, don't let the world see. Somebody needs to see a smile at this point. Uh, also, a shout out to your uh, daddy and a shout out to your mama.